standardized tests as you're progressing through the year? I, what I learned to do is that I look at, I know what the standards are, I know what our district expectations are, but I also have, say if I'm studying Japan with my students, I also will look at state tests, say in language arts. Oftentimes they'll give a story uh, on some folk tale or whatever. So I accumulate that, or I look at the state test and I sort of frame out my assessment of my students wherever I'm teaching them using that format. So the children are familiar with the format of the state test, the language, and I think um, it's not foreign to them when they see it. Mm -hmm. So I think in that way they're very successful or has, or has an equal chance of being successful as other students. And the other piece of all is that, to my understanding, um, the, our state tests in New York are actually an assessment of how well the district covers the standards that are the New York State standards. And in a high classroom, when the teachers are often developing their own curriculum, sometimes you have the advantage of, of taking those standards, which if you've ever looked at them, are actually pretty reasonable and, you know, they make sense. They're the things that we would make up that we would want our kids to be able to do. So if you take those core competencies, and then you develop a unit or a, or a lesson out of that, then then there's not a middleman in really, you know, in terms of like perhaps a textbook or something else. You're actually taking and saying, okay, how can I get at this standard? And the, the other thing that I wanted to just touch on too, which which I thought of when you asked the other question about the other program and kids being grouped by a particular ability. One of the things that um, that I learned about as a parent in the program around multi-age was that one of the advantages of multi-age was the ability to do heterogeneous grouping versus homogeneous grouping, and that there's actually, which was something that wasn't intuitively obvious to me when I was a parent just starting out in the program, but as I got more experience in the program, I learned through watching my children that actually being grouped in a group of kids who had very differing abilities was a huge advantage as well.